Beijing, the COVID-19 outbreak in China's largest metropolis of Shanghai remains extremely grim amid an ongoing lockdown confining around 26 million people to their homes, a city official said Tuesday. Director of Shanghai's Working Group on Epidemic Control, Gu Hongwei, was quoted by state media as saying that the outbreak in the city was still running at a high level. The situation is extremely grim, Gu said. China has sent more than 10 OOO health workers from around the country to aid the city, including two OOO from the military, and is mass testing residents, some of whom have been locked down for weeks. Most of eastern Shanghai, which was supposed to reopen last Friday, remained locked down along with the western half of the city. Officials would re-evaluate preventative measures after the results of tests on all city residents are analyzed, Gu said. Before that, citizens are asked to continue following the current lockdown measures and stay in their homes except for medical and other emergency situations, Gu said. Shanghai has reported more than 73 OOO positive COVID-19 infections since the resurgence of the highly contagious Omicron variant in March. Shanghai recorded another 13, 354 cases on Monday, the vast majority of them asymptomatic, bringing the city's total to more than 73 OOO since the latest wave of infections began last month. No deaths have been ascribed to the outbreak driven by the Omicron BA. 2 variant, which is much more infectious but also less lethal than the previous Delta strain. A separate outbreak continues to rage in the northeastern province of Jilin in the capital Beijing also saw an additional nine cases, just one of them asymptomatic. Workers shut down an entire shopping center in the city where a case had been detected. While China's vaccination rate hovers around 90 percent, its domestically produced inactivated virus vaccines are seen as weaker than the mRNA vaccines such as those produced by Pfizer, BioNTech and Moderna that are used abroad, as well as in the Chinese territories of Hong Kong and Macau. Vaccination rates among the elderly are also much lower than the population at large, with only around half of those over 80 fully vaccinated.